So hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Guys, today in this video, we will be discussing on one of the factor which severely affects the distillation process. And guys, the factor which we are going to discuss here is flooding. Particularly guys, in this video, we will be looking at various factors which causes flooding in distillation column. Before we start with the causes, first of all, let's brief it out about what is flooding in distillation column. Guys, in a distillation column, flooding refers to a condition where the column is overwhelmed with liquid and it causes the liquid and gas phase to mix excessively. Okay, and this disrupts the separation process and reduces the efficiency of distillation. In other words, flooding negatively impacts the separation efficiency of the distillation process and leading to the reduced product purity and increased energy consumption. Okay, it also causes mechanical damage to the column if not addressed properly. And guys, monitoring the liquid and vapor flow rates, maintaining proper column operating conditions and ensuring the design integrity of column internals are essential measures to prevent the flooding in distillation column. Guys, in simple words, flooding is a type of phenomena which severely affects the distillation separation process in terms of increasing the energy consumption and reducing the purity. Guys, in distillation column, we all know that the liquid and vapor contact is the most and important crucial part. But what happens in flooding is the liquid is overwhelmed in the column. So, that will have an imbalance in vapor and liquid contact. Okay guys, so this was in simple about the problem which happens in distillation column due to flooding. Now guys, we will be looking at which are the causes which leads to flooding in distillation column. Okay. Guys, the first factor which leads to flooding in distillation column is high liquid flow rates. Okay guys. When the liquid flow rate entering the column exceeds the capacity of the column or the vapor rate, then flooding occurs. And this can happen due to various factors such as pump malfunctioning, incorrect control settings or process upsets. Okay guys. Now the second factor which leads to flooding is low vapor flow rates. Guys, if there isn't any enough vapor flowing through the column to efficiently carry out the separation process, liquid accumulates and flood floods the column. And this can result from factors such as low feed rates, insufficient heat input for vaporization or vacuum leaks in, vap in vacuum distillation column. Okay. Then the third factor is about tray or packing inefficiency. Guys, inefficient trays or packing can lead to uneven distribution of liquid and vapor within the column, causing flooding. Issues such as tray fouling, damage or misplaced trays, improper tray or packing design, or inadequate tray spacing can contribute to fouling. Okay, now the next cause for flooding is temperature imbalances. Guys, significant temperature variations across the column can disrupt the equilibrium between liquid and vapor phases and this can lead to flooding. This can occur due to inadequate or uneven heat input then poor temperature control or process disturbances. Okay guys, now the next cause for flooding is hydraulic limitation. Guys, hydraulic limitation within the column such as inefficient downcomer capacity then tray whipping or entrainment of liquid droplets by vapor can contribute to flooding in one of the either ways. Okay. Now the next factor which leads to flooding is column design and operating conditions. Guys here inadequate design parameters such as tray spacing, tray efficiency, reflex ratio or column diameter can lead to flooding under certain operation conditions. Additionally, operating the column outside its design limits such as exceeding its maximum capacity can also result in flooding. And guys, now the last factor which is a probable cause to have flooding in the distillation column is foaming. Guys, foaming of a liquid phase within the column can lead to excessive liquid holdup and flooding. Foaming can cause by factors such as 
presence of contaminants high liquid velocities or inadequate anti foam control okay guys guys addressing and mitigating these factors require careful monitoring of column operating conditions regular maintenance of column internals proper design considerations and effective process control strategies to prevent flooding and ensure optimal distillation performances so guys that's all for this video where we discuss about the factors which causes flooding and distillation column and guys the factors which we discussed in this video were high liquid flow rates low vapor flow rates then tray or packing inefficiencies even temperature imbalances or hydraulic limitations then column design and operating conditions and foaming these were some of the factors which we discussed which can lead to flooding and distillation column and guys in the next upcoming video we'll be discussing on the consequences of flooding and distillation column so guys stay tuned for that and guys that's all for this video hope you like this video and thank you for watching and guys for more video related to chemical engineering process engineering chemical safety industrial safety you can subscribe to this channel and guys feel free to leave any questions or comment down below thanks for watching and see you in next video